Welcome back everybody to Hold the Dragon Queen, our D and Dungeon and Dragons 5e adventure. So this is um I am I going completely um oblivious to the number week of this is, but this is our number two. Um and they just defeated a whole band uh, a whole banded band and now have them hostages. So what's happening? Um I'm gonna try and ask them for well ask the ogre. He seems more convenient, even though he's not as smart, for some information about the woods where he lives. Mm, you're making me. What woods are they anyway? I'm like playing up we're the map. Near, are we next to the misty forest, or are we next oh, to the or, deep forest? Uh, let me see. A thousand orcs just everywhere. You are close to the misty forest. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. So he says he basically says. Um, Misty forest. I live in in a hill. Misty forest. Maybe five hours walk from here. Mm. So mm. what about the misty forest? What do you like to do on a day by day thing? He looks at you weirdly. You ask weird questions. For what do you like to do for fun he, he in the thinks you're hitting on do you like to do you like to find the ruins? Ruins? Do you like to go around clubbing certain creatures? You're asking what he likes to do, and if he likes to go out clubbing, he thinks you're hitting on him. <laughs> Maybe with the twenty charisma, I'm pretty sure I'm, he hopes I am he's hitting on him. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go out in the club? <laughs> So this guy looks at uh, us. You're so sweet. Mm. <laughs> we, I, yeah. We are. This is week number eight. Thanks, Fea. Um, I, I hunt. I eat. I hunt. I eat. I sometimes go raiding when Clan Rika comes. It sounds like you don't drink or sleep. Do you breathe? I mean, breathing's pretty important for someone such as yourself, right? I mean, you're about nine and a half foot tall. You'd probably need quite a bit of air, wouldn't you? So basically, he looks at he looks at you with this yeah. with his face right now. <laughs> like he has <laughs> he has a witchery no idea. That we need to know. I know you're not the smartest. Wait, wait. Should I just ask the guys over there? Do you give up on interrogating the stupid ogre? Okay, okay. Don't even respond. It's not necessary. Stay sitting there, because remember, we're strong, and you're weak. Okay, okay. I'm going to walk over to the um, hobgoblins. Okay, so you walk over to the hobgoblins... They're white faced and they're basically just looking at you, not saying anything or doing anything. No, I am poking them with the stick. Well, you are poking under the stick, and he's not just—he's just like Ugh. he's like shutting his eyes so you don't, you don't poke him in his eye. So you said the hobgoblins were wearing half plate, right? Not full plate. The ones that he yeah. killed. The, the chieftains. The ones that Why got their heads cut off and like Why are they not wearing plate? I want them to be wearing plate. Can they be wearing plate? <laughs> nope. <sighs> well, then we'd have to retroactively miss. Half plate's medium armor. I can't wear it. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna ask for Stani what um, information she's gathered. Ah. Wait, wait. If I if I take both sets of half plate and put them together, do they become a set of plate? No. <laughs> yes, that's how it works. It, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> it doesn't combine, work like that. You know? That's it's algebra. Like, it's like yeah. I, I just say to uh, Lucian, no, I they they haven't been dealing any useful information at all. I can't get them to talk, and I poke one in the nose. I'm just gonna ask them about like the surrounding area. Anything we need to watch out for? Are there any dangerous creatures? Anything like that? And if they don't tell me, then their heads are coming off. Cooperate or you die. This hobgoblin looks up at you, and it will mean an intimidation check. Oh, this is gonna be good. Jesus. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, I'm gonna, I'm going to, I'm feeling pretty lucky actually. He, it's, it's pretty bad, but he takes it a lot worse than it appears. Okay, so basically he he looks up at you and says, "No more raiders above in front." He says, "We that's we're the last of Clan Weir." Oh, the last of the clan. The clan. Hmm. So, no women and children. Shakes his head. Ask him if this is like a rival, rivalry clan, or like some other, like, you know... Yeah, well, I was asking about, like, all the other dangers that we might face. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, speak what he wants. He says... It's... It's... Uh, it's fair or not. I, I don't know, you might run into a dragon or you, you might not run into anything. Well, that's it's, rather a casual thing to do, just run into a dragon. It's it's mm. a very weird question to ask, especially that you are Have in the Forgotten Realms. Have you seen realms. a dragon? Shakes his head. Mm-hmm. What happened to the rest of your clan? Most of us were Why wiped... Why are you the last? M- most of us were wiped out by... By a warlord to the other side of the Misty Forest. Hmm. A warlord on the other side of the Misty Forest. Who is this warlord? His name is Gyrax. He has bigger clan, stole our women, stole our children, killed those who didn't survive. Who didn't well, run away, sorry. You'll be surviving from now on then if those are the circumstances you're in I'm going to go back I'm going like, to ask the party what we should do with them I don't really I don't really mind and I know some of you have preferences okay nope. I, do, we need, do we need labor in this caravan that you have there I mean, guys, this isn't, this isn't our caravan. We, we should probably chance. leave them up to the justice of the people who were assaulted. Mm. Who who have now run away. We should probably tell them it's safe to come back, too, as long as okay. we're, you know... That's true, they did kill nine people. <laughs> yeah. And that, those were just random dudes, right, uh, Chucky? Yes, uh, yes, they, just they random nine people. random dudes. Do the do the people like have the people continue to run away or are they like off in the distance? Can we not even see them anymore? No, you can't even see them anymore. <sighs> so the caravan has been abandoned. <laughs> yes. Dude, how long how long does that be abandoned before salvage rights apply? <laughs> Wait, how much? So the whole caravan has been abandoned. Yes, they are running away. Do okay, not. I'm gonna, so I'm going to go to the dragon claw caravan then. I can. This is not the dragon claw caravan. Voice, but... These Chucky, are normal well, caravans. Huh? I mentioned it three this times before. Caravan. These are the, this is a oh. different caravan. It's not your caravan being attacked. Okay. Oh, okay. So they will they will run away then. Yes. Okay, I'm going to look through all the like just like peek into the doors and see what kind of goods they have. Okay. And see if there's anyone inside. Um, as I'll he does shout. this, everybody else. I'll shout as loud as I can. We took care of them. You can return. It is safe now. You shout this as as far as, as, loud as I can. You are. A, you I are can annoyed. make yeah. my voice three times as uh, uh, like uh, 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 louder as usual. Do you? <laughs> I can shout. Hey guys! Hey guys! What the? So do you? Did they up? run? Did they run down the road south when they left? No, no, no! They ran up the hill you came. So they didn't. They didn't run south. So they're not going to run into our caravan. No, they're running up the hill you came. So into your caravan, to your caravan, basically. Okay, to to your, to your caravan, but that's south on the road. Oh yeah, sorry. We it is south on the road. That. Yeah. All right. Um. Well, they probably made it back to our caravan, and I uh, hopefully they stop there. So I'll just go ride back and and tell everyone it's safe to advance. Why don't, why don't you guys stay here and guard the wagons? Um, and what, and what was your name? We also need to guard these. I'm. What was your name? Wolfrider. I am Runtarak. 
Ah, well. You're, you're really useful in a fight. I'm, I'm Brutus von Mises. Well met. You can take a lot of punishment. Ah, that's what my, that's what my girlfriends always say. <laughs> I've, never seen, I've never seen someone get hit that many times and still be okay. Uh, it's I an acquired skill. I kind of <laughs> cough, and then I'm like, <clears throat> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I, I I just like uh, I I look at uh, it was like yeah I know I know what you did like I know what you mean. <laughs> I, I kind of I kind of like start explaining. Well, and we we support you. characters, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're deep. So, so, so you two, who are you? I am Lelouch. My long name. It's a bit of a tongue twister. You don't need to remember that. You can call me Lulu if you want. It's a mouthful. <laughs> no, that's uh, the other well, guy. The other guy. Oh, yeah, mouthful. that's right. Well met, Lelouch. Well met. I'm, I'm afraid I cannot going... help heal your dog at the moment, but maybe after a night's sleep I might be able to. I would most appreciate that. It means a lot to me. And that's are you. Uh, so I I don't know that much about you guys. Are you humans or elves or what are we I'm out a, here? I'm a half elf. Half, half elf. elf. Bard. Bard, yeah. Uh, human uh, mage, uh, like uh, a usually blackish hair, but like dyed brown for the moment. Blue eyes and like I have a cyan robe, a uh, cyan cloak, and, like uh, that the Brewers gave me, and uh, otherwise like Asher. Uh, like rubbish, no, like l like body piece. I don't know, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. And how does Brutus look here? Uh, Brutus is sort of like Nordic, you know, tall, blonde-haired, blue-eyed, wearing a uh, splint mail, the shield with a, a holy symbol of tear on it. Is half played hmm? better than splint mail? No, half plate's a medium armor splints to me. My my literally oh. my only upgrade is plate. Or magical right. armor can also technically be an upgrade. Or magic, yeah. <laughs> but the chance of getting magical armor is so slim that I'm just not even thinking about it. Alright. Well Haroon is a like six and a half foot uh half orc who looks very orcish. Uh long uh black hair that's uh in a braid down to his waist. Uh, just really huge, muscular, you know, 20 strength, and his, um, even though he has split mail, it's, he's all adorned in various furs, a big, uh, fur cloak that looks like maybe he, you know, killed and made it himself, and, and various furs, and has the whole orcish thing going on. Yep. Like, more predominant orc features, or more predominant human features? More predominant orc features. Okay. So his he big doesn't consider himself a half orc. So are, are, those, type, are you those uh, type of uh, half orcs that is insulted if you, if you call it a uh, half orc? He he considers himself an orc. Okay, got it. Interesting. I called him a wolf rider. I avoided the whole issue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good way to go. Awesome. So, uh, after, as you guys talk, you see you see a couple of guards uh, ride down their mounts, guards that you know that are of your caravan. They look around and they see, well, um, these are the guards that you know, just in the ones that you fought and sparred with for the past 20 so days. Oh, okay. The uh, short, uh, stocky dwarf on uh, one of the ponies says, well, you took well of all of them. Good job. Yeah, you can tell the the, uh, the owners of the wagons that they can come back. Are these more raiders or are they guards? You know them, I take it. They're they're guards from our caravan, which is just a little bit down the road. We heard the uh, the fight and decided to ride ahead. Ah. Hmm. Hey, a big one. Seeking glory. Looking at Hoon saying this. Who's he? He is. He is Fruin Tarak, and I'm he assisted us in our, our fight against the. Uh, I'm assuming he was a ogres. guard from the other, the other caravan, right? Yeah, well, I, we didn't actually ask him why he's here. 
Why, what, what brings you to these parts, Faroon? Are you, are you a guard of this caravan, or were you just wandering by? I'm, I'm traveling. I look for, well, for glory and for things to build my strength for the coming battle. Well, there is a wrong I must take care of. A walking corpse who does not know he's a corpse yet, but he'll find out soon enough. I have a few of those. Ominous. Um, uh, Chucky? Yes? So, how much gold in total did I loot, by the way? 100. Okay, I'll... I'll be a chap and actually give out, like, 25 to each of us. Okay, I'll so be... they say, well, um, that was queer. I go to the caravan. Those people might want the caravan to uh, join with ours. Um, yeah, are they, when they return, like, have they returned? Um, or... no, no, like, basically the, the dwarf looks back and says, you guys go tell the others, I'll wait here. And the other three okay. riders start riding back. All right. I say, you seem to be traveling in the same direction as me. You can travel with me if you like. Um, How very actually, convenient. We, we have a job with us. Um, actually, we have an opening in the job. It pays. How much does it pay, Jackie? Two gold per day. You guys are in day... What day? Let me see what day you guys are in. You guys I are in day there, right? halfway there, so you can still make I... about sixteen thirty-six gold. All right. I'm saying I'm t I'll, I'll tell him that we have a job opening. I'll say we have a job opening, and it's with a man who sells fine feathered friends. I'll put in a good word for you if you want it. I'll think that, that how, would you be? I said is that the one we actually? Sell on right. Yeah. On the, yeah, that's one. Yeah, we we're guarding the bird guy. Yeah, I I I forget because we were arguing about it for so long. We were gonna. Yes, it took a full session. I wasn't in there. <laughs> so, well, your your caravan is welcome to travel with me, and if you wish to pay me for it, then that's good too. Oh, you'll just have to do with like a few small guard duties, maybe a two-hour watch a night, alongside us, of course. Well, you're skilled warriors. I I would be honored. Okay, I'll try and put in a good word for you, and see if we can get you a bit of extra money on the side. <laughs> what's uh, what's uh, your like take on magic? Like, yeah, uh, I used to, uh, Robert. Like, your how does your guy react? Well, I, he I mean, I, I, I think I think we need to be tolerant of it. Not everyone can yeah. can carry a a large yeah. sword or two. He, he seemed and like I don't, a guy. I don't look down on people that yeah. you know that need to use that instead. I say I say good for you. Okay. <laughs> I, I, he, he, he seems like a guy like favors uh, strength stuff like that. So I'm not sure how. But that doesn't matter. He's, 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 the, he's the guy who'd call you a handy capable <laughs> people. <laughs> 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 Trying to be neat about nice about it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. I can cast spells. Whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> and then someone's like, hey, this is a nice looking sword. He's like, oh my god, a sword. Okay, Um. yeah, so I guess we could fast forward a bit then. So, and I, and I, I do offer to uh, train the mage in how to use a sword if he ever, you know, wants to learn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously, no, it's... He doesn't have to keep using magic. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm just, it's quite alright, I just show, I show, show my like, skinny arms, like, <laughs> my nine strength, just like, not really use it. <laughs> like, it's just, I, I think I'm fine, it just, it takes everything to just keep my hands up in the air to cast this <laughs> <laughs> what, what is your strength? Uh, it's nine, but like, I'm, so, I mean... Yeah. Okay, so it's, after it's a couple of minutes... After a couple of minutes, the caravan gets down. The uh, bird guy in front with the everybody else from the other wagon. Mm, and he um, looks at you and says, Well, you finished all of them. Oh, that's... Thank you again. You, uh, of course, that's why you hired us. He smiles. Yeah, that's why I hired you. Who's this guy? <laughs> Looking at the guy on the wolf. Uh, he's our 
your newest card. Works for me. I mean, he <laughs> oh, just, that was easy. He just like shrugs <laughs> his shoulders. If the dragon bone, if the oh, dragon oh, bone doesn't return, oh, you got the spot. I'm sorry, but our friend, yeah, our friend, I don't know where he is. So, if maybe the contract that he had fulfilled could be in place, given to this new man, it would be beneficial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in, uh, enough talk. Let's let's get going. I don't want to meet any other hobgoblins oh. or. Whatever those big things are. Yeah. What What do the owners of the caravan who were assaulted want to do with the uh, the prisoners? I guess kill them. Uh, I don't know. I. Uh, okay. Well, I, I I go and talk to them. I, I say that the the nine of their men have died, and so therefore justice should be left up to them. The uh, one of the merchant comes in front, looks at all of them, and and says with Eric, holding himself up high, trying to maintain dignity, though you can see that he has been battered, he and his face is a bit red. Maybe from crying, maybe for being swapped, you don't know. He just looks and he says, you should kill the wretched beasts. They uh, plague the world. It's, they, they do not deserve to live. And one of the, the uh -huh. woman behind starts like, it's cry. He's she's crying. They killed my dear Robert. <laughs> oh, sorry, Robert. If you want to do the dirty work? I'm sure you can do it yourself. Yeah, so I'll go to the woman. That is that is most unfortunate. Here, I give her my dagger. I would be honored if you used my dagger to kill him. <laughs> she uh, looks up at you, and let's see how she reacts. You look like my husband. Well, Ooh. I mean, she takes the dagger and like she, her face is red, and she starts stamping on towards one of the hobgoblins. What about the ogre? The ogre's just sitting there. I think ogre... we actually left. To uh, I don't know. I think everybody's no, he's still sitting there. He's no, still sitting. There. He's still sitting no, there. We've been waiting around here. We've been waiting around here. Okay. Unless he decides to leave, in that case, he's yeah. getting attacked. No, no. She stamps on to one of the hobgoblins. Okay, anybody do anything, or do you just let her go on? Nope. Nah, I just shrug my sh I just shrug like, yeah. She's gonna get killed. The it was her family deserve. member. The rest of the okay, so you guys... She has the right. Yeah, you guys you guys get to the... Wait, with the she, get, she gets there with a dagger, and she raises it and says, Die, you beast! <sighs> For Robert! <laughs> and as she raises her hand, this hobgoblin... Punches her straight in the gut. <laughs> okay. Well, at that point, I, I throw a javelin at him. One yeah. second. You're not I'm expecting this, so he he will be getting an advantage on this. And well, as does he, it matter? It can only do like one damage, right? Yeah, well, it's his turn. So he punches her. Let me roll her HP. Let's I think it's see. a one d three or something. Okay. So this woman falls unconscious, and he takes the dagger, and. Uh, Basically, like takes her hostage. It basically, raises her up, puts the dagger at her neck. Oh, okay. so that was a really bad plan. I'll just like start walking up to him. I cast I sleep on him. Spells, <laughs> like I, I use my last spell and cast sleep on him. Cast it. Okay, these guys are dying now. They are vicious beasties. And I and I cast a uh, heal on the chick. Okay, so oh, I can I can go up in here. You sweep, you sweep, uh, this guy, not uh -huh. the other one, and the other one is trying to squirm away. Basically, he's not he has not broken his bonds, and he's trying to like. <laughs> okay, in that case, one. I'm gonna pull out. I'm gonna pull out my rapier. I'm gonna walk up to the one that's asleep. I'm going to kick the dagger away. Okay, I'm you kick the like dagger away. To his throat. <laughs> I'll put up to his throat and just like fucking push through and retract it. Do I have to roll to hit or damage? No. No, you just do double damage. But yeah, I'm gonna say he just dies. So you kill him? Do you okay. kill the other guy as well? Um I'm gonna say let this be a warning to you. And then wait, no, he's probably gonna die anyway. He is he is he's squirming away, he's crawling away. I'm gonna throw a javelin at him as soon as I get a chance. Okay, you want just... me to attack? No, he is hers to kill. His life belongs to her. I think she's her. had enough. Critical hit? I think she's had enough. Enough she, to kill him. She's I like... can only imagine that she'd want to kill him even more now. <laughs> she he... could try taking on the ogre next. 
the ogre is just like sitting there. Is, is, and is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. He Both dead? of the hobgoblins are dead. Okay. The ogre is still oh. like, like just sitting there and looking at you and not doing or saying anything. Is he like not even. He's like, eh. Yeah, he's like. I don't think he's intelligent enough to like really process what's going on. I mean. Okay, so yeah. the girl's still alive. I'm gonna jokingly ask. So you wanna have a crack at the big one now? <laughs> well, she's unconscious on the ground, but you hear no, this. Yeah, yeah, she's like, she, she gives the dagger um, back to Hoon. And she well, that was I, I, I just, well, that was awkward. <laughs> I think, she, I think she learned a valuable life lesson. Points for defeating them again, controller. We defeated them twice now, right? Double XP! More XP. <laughs> no. Yes, we do! That's right! Oh, it's so nice of you. Okay. So, what's happening with Hick? Alright, well, what do you want to do with the ogre? I, I asked the. Like, it's their caravan. They were assaulted. Yeah, it's their I people that are dead. I want them to decide on a punishment and, take, and carry it out. It's their yeah. moral responsibility. They're basically, I mean, all of the they're just humans. What do you expect them to say? Kill, 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 kill. <laughs> okay, I'm going. I'm that's, going. That's to basically what they're typical saying. bloodthirsty humans. Yes, they're just. They, they, okay, they, well, <laughs> we can... They've been threatened by these creatures, and when they see them defeated, they do not want to fall into the position of being vulnerable to them again. So the only logical reason for them is to. Have okay, you killed um, him? How badly wounded is Hick? Mm, almost not at all. Hmm. Good luck killing him then. I guess if we knock him out, then they can justly. Hick, Hick is like. Hick can go home now. Too many humans. Hick not comfortable. I'm not sure if that's a possibility, Hick. Does this like his great club? Is he still? Yes, it's still by his side. What if what if we recruit Hick, and he can he can like make amends for his behavior? I was Maybe thinking, not sure I would trust Hick. Yeah, uh, like on the in the in the night, like I'm not sure I would trust him. I can't. Well, we we would go and watch anyway. I'm not sure. We can hobble. Yeah, him. we can hobble him at night. I'm Keep not sure if the humans would trust him, regardless. Yeah, that that. Ex executing Hick feels a little bit like Texas. <laughs> wow. What what is that supposed to mean for people that are not from the US? <laughs> oh. Just, I just in it. Texas when they when they execute people that are mentally handicapped. Oh. <laughs> wow. 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 Well, America. America Place of freedom. Yeah. I'll, I'll go talk to him. Like, it's, okay. it's not America, it's Texas. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not America, it's Florida. And it's not America, it's Mississippi. And so on and so forth. I'm, I'm going to go talk to Hick and be like, okay, so Hick, you're aware of the, the concept that some things are bad. Mm. Humans like when Hick it, just call me. Things. Humans call me bad. I bad. Right, some things, some things, but it's it's not people that are bad; it's their actions. Uh -huh. So the, 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 your actions, things you have done, are bad. He looks at you as if you're trying to teach him verses of the Bible. Our uh, would be close to quantum physics for this guy. So I'll be like, I'll be like hunting good, robbing caravans bad. See the see the difference. I bet I rob cactus. I rob cactus. I rob yeah. caverns. Exactly. You're robbing cactus is the worst thing I'm you can do. Turtle. Robbing NPCs is fine. But PC so characters you will kick you out. You don't like have to rob caravans. You could, so, you could so now, as punishment for for robbing caravans, which is bad, you have to do good things to make up for it. Good. He looks very yeah. confused at this. So, so we're gonna take you with us. And as long as you do as you're told, you get to live. He looks at you and says, Hick obeys. You're strong. You defeat Hick. Hick obeys. 
Oh, good. That went really well. How good are you at pulling caravans? Hicks <laughs> <laughs> mm, strong. Hicks can pull. Hope can. That's right. You must be. <clears throat> okay. As you uh, say um, this, as you say this, the guy that hired you comes back in from whoever, whichever one of you is kind of more behind to this. I'm thinking of Stani, uh, is more not into this conversation right now. Uh -huh. She's like, I'm, I'm not taking this guy. I'm not paying an ogre. I'm... Do I have to pay? Him? When... He says he doesn't want to pay the ogre. I'm not paying an ogre card. Hey. He's gonna have to. No, pay. no, no. He's not a. He's not a guard. He's a slave. He's gonna. He's not gonna. He, or the prisoner. Yeah, he's, he's. He's talking to me. Like I'm. I would say like he's. Yeah. You're not gonna have to pay him. Like he's a stupid creature. Like he's gonna do what, what we're telling him to do, and there's nothing else. Like he. He knows we're stronger than him, and you're going to respect that. But so you don't worry. You don't have but, to pay him. But anything. I'm not. I'm not stronger than him. Too. What if he decides to have breakfast with me, on. Me being I'm gonna, explain, I'm gonna explain to everyone that I'm, I'm taking him into a to face the high justice. Uh, as a as a cleric of Tyr, he he did. Uh, I my my religion demands that he have a uh, a trial, a okay. fair trial. Roll me a roll me a uh, persuasion roll. <laughs> I rolled a three. People are completely <laughs> against this, and it says I'll, he. I'll... Okay. He's an ogre. He's evil. Uh, perhaps, but... perhaps I didn't explain it correctly. I think Lelouch can explain it a little bit better. But no, no, no. <laughs> okay. wait, wait, let me finish. Let me finish. I will, I will let me finish. As Lelouch, they say this, as they say this, I will this, sing a song. And, uh, and I will so... pull out a lute and I will, I will sing a song about the great ogre, Garan, who <laughs> fought alongside the human kingdoms in an army, and he he saved many lives doing so. And I said. And I'll finish the song by saying, "Ogres can be helpful. It's a, it's a complete and utter lie." But okay, so roll me, me that. Roll, roll me that preservation roll. Probably have the credit. Nah. I'll re-roll that. I'll re-roll that as well. No, nope, I <laughs> take the first one. You're, you're, I take you're the like, one, yeah. Chucky. Uh, well, you, you go way off key or I mean, something. You are you, like you start to fart at hey, the end. It's still a good roll. As I said, <laughs> you, you you are you are singing, but I mean the people are not really convinced. But they they speak out. They don't do anything. And at a certain point, the caravan people are like, whatever you do, they keep it in the front. Let's go already. Yeah. Okay. And they don't. They, they they seem to be very much against the idea. Nobody is really doing anything against you guys, and they just seem to want to move on. So, human ignorance is coming to prayer now. They're just trying just to basically of, ignore you. Think about you. it as insurance. Think about it as an insurance. People won't attack. Bandits won't attack a caravan that's got a huge ogre leading it. Kind of well, thing. Well, huge ogre and an orc on a war on a direwolf. So. <laughs> So do we do we let him keep his club? That's like the primary question, I think. No, he has no reason no. to have the club. No. Alright. No. So Herc Herc up, walk in front. Herc raises out himself up, reaches for the great club. Uh no club. No. Leave the club. Yeah. Clubbing for the night. Not being caravan. Okay. Right now. He he doesn't take the club and he starts moving where you say he needs to move. Alright. And snap to it. Okay. Um. Yeah. Does the other Did caravan the, join us? Uh, the other caravan does join your numbers. You now you're fourteen. Okay. Um. How many? How many caravans do they have? Only one. Only one wagon. Okay. The two what others was, were what, what overturned kind of in this story. What kind of goods did they have? Uh, silk and velvet shirts and robes. Ooh. Um. And who is the owner? A guy named Orai Elsay. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go up to him and I'm gonna tell him what we did. And I'm just gonna say, I think that we have saved your life, your livelihood, and I think that if not me, at least my comrades should be re should be rewarded for such feats. Let's well, see how this guy reacts to this. He looks at you and says, "Well, if you hadn't saved us, they would have attacked you, so you would have killed them anyway." So he says, I, I don't see well, I'm and sure you're hired well, and missing. <laughs> yes, and then we would have found your caravan 
completely destroyed on the road and been able to salvage it. This way, you're alive to enjoy your caravan, too. Thanks. Whatever. Our caravan said, wasn't going to be taken. And your livelihood. Whatever. And he uh, he gives you all. Or he be, he gives you each twenty five gold and says, "With me, be that's all I have." Oh, oh stingy. I just raise out my hand. Uh, by the way, I I gave all of you twenty five gold for the hundred gold I looted. By the way, so add it to your character sheets as well. Yep. If you haven't already. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm also going to mention to Hick that the caravan with the dragon claws and stuff, they are the bad men too. And that do not go out of your way to help them. The ogre red cook said and says Dragon? Where? They are not dragons per se. They are bad men. They call themselves that because they are liars. Bad men? I bet they hobgoblins? They no, green men? they are bad people. I, bad I, people I, will kill you too. Let's not discuss... I, I, I think talking to Herc might not be the best idea. <laughs> yeah, let's not, talk, let's not talk ethics with the... Uh, ethics and moral with the ogre, I mean... I don't know. We, I'll By just say way, we may need your help in stopping them sometime. Well, well, if we need his help, we'll just say... We'll just, say, we'll just talk to him, and go, we'll just go say smash that, that guy, and that's all. Uh, uh, I want to know where Mouthful is. Um, Amalfell is on your caravan. He is basically just eating and drinking something and getting some clothes from a merchant. Okay. If, I if we rest, like, uh, I suggest that we just start moving the caravan and we just rest on the caravan. And I'll play a little tune while we do it. I'll pick up, I'll, I'll pick up Jack and see how he's doing. And feed him some, uh... Seats, I guess. Uh, Jack Earth is doing pretty good. Well met. <laughs> well met. Well met. Well met. For Robert, that's my pet. That's my pet parrot. It's named <laughs> after someone. I actually, they well actually met. have in my in my local pet store. They have a gray jackal. They just bought it in a couple of days ago. Okay. You should buy it. It's pretty, it's, it's very expensive. Cool it's very expensive. It's they live, they live, um, okay, they live so... pretty long, actually. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, 25 years, I think it said on the weather yeah, market. Yeah, pr pretty much. Um, 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 um. I suggest we rest for an hour and we continue with our journey. Inside the caravan. <coughs> Do we rest for an hour? Uh, two of you at the time can rest for an hour. There's not enough space for any more to rest inside of the wagon. Okay. Okay, I so, so Boots and, and who else? Who else is resting besides Boots? Um, oh, oh, whoever's resting, I'll play some music for them. It doesn't really matter for me though. Okay, Rostani or Hoon? Uh, well, I'm an orc, so they can rest first. They need it. I, I, I'd say I, I, I'd appreciate some uh, rest. You can rest at the same time. I, I would. I would say like I would uh, need some time to uh, regain my mental fortitude, and with that I mean I had to do arc and recovery, <laughs> so I can get my spells back. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's half my level, right? In slot, in yeah, uh, it's uh, yes. slots equal to half your level rounded down. So if you can get you can get like one level two slot back, or you can get two level ones right now. Yeah, basically, uh, probably. Level ones are actually more. Go ahead. Okay, so you guys continue on traveling. People are not very much happy with having Herc around, but nobody really um, says anything about it. The guys that you guys made friends with seem pretty amused at this. Everybody yeah. being good, good guys and girls, don't know. Yep. Uh, so, do you guys um, want to do anything specific uh, as we go along so, in like, the journey? So, like, nights have passed, and we're like, yeah, nights have like, passed. You are four HP. You have taken watches. Again, this is a two month <laughs> caravan mean, that you have. I'll have a. Uh, so I'll have a Herc uh, help me like gather firewood and stuff like that. I figure he can carry a lot. Hmm. Let me go out. Yeah, and any, any, anytime I, I do not give him an axe. <laughs> 
Yeah, anytime strength can be useful, we'll have Herc do it. So like, if there's a blockage in the road that needs to be pushed off the side, we'll have Herc do it. We'll make him gather fire every night. Just do everything well, I, I we can to make him seem like he's really useful. The, the thing yeah. is, though, like, Herc... And I'll probably... tell him good job when he does a good job. Uh, oh, okay. So nice. How, we'll however, I, th I think Herc eats a lot, though. Like, he probably has an voracious appetite. Yes, if you do if you do have him, you have to feed him a comfortable meal each day. How much is that? Oh, one silver. Oh. That's, that's nothing that's nothing. I mean you can do that. I mean it's a lot for plus. any normal guy, but your adventures you're yeah. quite the opposite so, of normal. So basically uh, can I just pay four can I pay four gold for the whole trip? I'll ask do I, a... do along the way. Okay. To make it easy, can I just pay four gold for the whole trip? Yeah, yeah no problem. Um, we can take out four gold, but something might happen. He might die. He might not die. You might kill him up. No, 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 no. I'm just not just paying in advance. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's food. Also, I asked Krun where I can get a uh, direwolf mount because it seems really good. <laughs> it is really strong. Krun, you are. Well, you want to you wanna get a pup, and then you want to raise it yourself. Have you How been? Do get, uh, how do I get a pup? I'm a bit well, from, this. Uh, from the other uh, wolves in your clan. Right. From one of the other, you watch for the, uh, you know, look to see what are the best wolves in your clan, and then you negotiate with its owner for one of the pups. Okay. <laughs> How long have, have you had uh, Lou? What's it called? Lupa. 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 How long? Lupa. Uh, five years. Hmm. Interesting. Lupo is my first wolf. That's pretty cool. It is a very healthy wolf. You rolled very well on its step, on its HP. Yeah. Sir. <laughs> 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 Looks big and strong. You're. you're uh... yeah, of course. Yeah. I specifically chose Lupa as the as the uh, pride of the litter. Well, I don't. I don't have any wolves in my clan. But if you're aware of any oh. wolves that are like available I'm for sorry, adoption, was your, was your clan robbed? <laughs> in a manner yes. of speaking. Hmm. Well, perhaps we can raid another clan for wolves. Do you have an enemy clan? All evil men are my enemy. Excellent. Then there's many people that you can raid. And <laughs> take wolves, pups. <laughs> Because that's what life is all about. Taking right? wolf pups. If I could, if I could raid people and take take a wolf pup from them and raise them to be a dire wolf, I would do that. Yeah. Of course. So, of course. I, I actually don't even care about the horde of the dragon anymore. I just want to go find a wolf pup. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now starts the adventure: fighting the wolf pup. <laughs> The one and only. Okay, so you guys continue on moving. Herc is proving very useful. He does not say almost anything at all. Uh, at a certain point, the guards, your friends, do approach him and he doesn't say anything to them. And when they ask him to do stuff, he doesn't do anything. He And he makes it clear that you know defeat me. Master is not you. I not take orders okay. from you. What kind of things do they ask? It's he, he. They're basically just having fun because you have an ogre that's a slave. So they're <laughs> they're they're trying to make him do stuff. Like they have never seen an ogre dance. They're trying to make him dance. <laughs> oh my god! And okay, I, I, just, I just I just imagine I just imagine the like the the Warcraft ogre dance go like this. <laughs> <laughs> No, four times multicast. Four times multicast. No, I'm not Ogre Mage, I. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, and. and if, they, if they, like, yeah. Go on. I'll, I'll be like, behold the power, and I'll say, heck, can, do you know any dance moves? Or can you dance? Or at least just jiggle about. Joke said you. Dance? What is dance? I'll say, I'll say, follow after me, and I'll just do like a simple jig. Like, <laughs> like, yes, yes, it's all in the hips. It's all He's like, the stamp, 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 <gasps> and face plants. 
I sense a nice, dance nice running try, montage nice coming on. <laughs> like, <laughs> nice try. I rate With every eight move, eight. he gets a little bit better. Yeah, absolutely. And then After we all like last... two minutes of montage, he gets. And like everyone's like, oh. Yeah, that's basically what happens. Um, so, what today? This is about day. This is about day twenty-six in your adventure. Okay. This is the next day. No, this, this was the... this was this was basically day uh, tw twenty when you guys fought this guy, and now this is the day twenty-six. Oh, I'm just gonna have all my spells back then. So exactly. we're approaching the dagger ford. Uh, you are approaching. You have actually passed the dagger ford. You are. Um, okay. Let me tell you where you are. Um, yeah, we actually, no, no, sorry, sorry. No, you have not. You have not got. You have. A, you have gone past Dragon Spear. You are maybe uh, four days away from Dagger Ford. Okay. okay. So we're still like next to the Mystic Forest. Yeah, because well, moving in a caravan is a lot slower than moving on your own. Okay, so after a miserable night, cold night that promises to become even wetter, freezing night, the caravan arrives at a large inn. Upon entering the warm, comfortable common room to make arrangements for the night, the embarrassed innkeeper looks at you and says, Sorry, sis, we don't have any rooms left. It's, uh, and the common room is, is pri it's, a, it's a private party. I, I can't let you in. The innkeeper can't let us in? Yes, the innkeeper can't let you in. Who, like, who is... Uh... The party, like, uh, who's in there? So that's unfortunate when I have so much gold to spend. She said, "I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. I, 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 I cannot. It's." And you see, like, three noblemen, like, moving up to you. They, you know, dressed in lavish clothes that covered in, they make them like look kind of fat because there was you know, a lot of layers of uh, velvet and satin clothes around them all of them in different colors they look like peacocks basically but they do walk with a, a false sense of pride and they look at you and say roger what's with these people they're not part of our party one and gone and the innkeeper kind of says please you need to go now just look at uh, uh, Lelouch. Like hmm. you, you would turn away a cleric of tear on a night like this. He looks at you and says, "Roger, he's talking to me." The innkeeper is even more profuse. He kind of pushing you a bit. He's not actually pushing. He's like, "Come on, please, please, I don't want to any, any trouble." Hmm. Hmm. Is there any is there any place else we can spend the night that you would recommend here? Uh, this man, the man there says, don't even think about letting him stay in the in the stable. We paid for the horses too. We don't think James staying with barbarians as they. How big is this town? It's a, no, it's not a town. It's a small village. There's only one in. Why would a nobleman be here then? I mean, what? I guess they were on, just on the road. a very well made inn you have here. Do you think an ogre could rip it down? I think an ogre could probably rip it down. Uh -huh. uh, I'm sure there's some peasants that would be happy to put us up. I guess we could sleep. I guess we could sleep in that barn. <coughs> Not really. <laughs> I'm uh, actually perfectly comfortable sleeping, sleeping in the wagon, but now I've been insulted. And this this cannot stand. <laughs> so, do you guys? Um, do you guys? Well, this it's not the same keeper. Well, he doesn't really have an option here, I'm thinking. That's true. So he kind of like pushing you out. Please, please, come on, come on. Let's. I I'm very sorry. I can't do anything. Please. Oh. A word with you, please, Mr. Innkeeper? It's outside, outside. Yes, yes. Okay. So I'm do you guys all go outside? About the yeah. Anybody, anybody staying in? No, no, I'll go outside. Okay. I'll outside. As you move, I will listen to what's going on in there. The thing, I, want, I want to yeah, do this, yeah. Chucky. Chucky. Go on. If he is not, is he closing the door behind him? Uh, no, no. But uh, you do hear something <laughs> from this guy as he um, 
as he kind of like as you go past the nobles and he this guy smirks the one that talked to uh, and addressed the innkeeper as robert uh, as a uh, roger sorry many robbers today. <laughs> many robbers today yeah <laughs> uh, as roger and he says uh sleep tight <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I I want to kind of go like uh, a little bit offside, cast invisibility, <laughs> and go back in. No, I'm I'm first off. I was considering that, but first off, yeah. I'd like to talk to the keep yeah. about what's happening here. So like, why is this? What's with the function and what's happening and everything? Uh, the innkeeper says, um, there are nobles. They came to be from um on the journey to Waterdeep, and but they have. They rented out the whole place. And have, aren't letting anybody in. How much do they pay you? I... I can't say. I'm, I'm sorry. But it is a lot of gold. Is he Between like... Points, I'm sure you can tell. How much? He shakes his head. I, I need to go inside. I, if you have anything to... I, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't accommodate you in any way, but... You don't seem like you're entirely on board with this. Like, perhaps they forced you or threatened you? Are you alright? We do not fear those... those prancing hooligans. Okay, give me a persuasion roll. Not all... not all prancing hooligans are bad. I must add. Some prancing hooligans are better than others. I'm sure you can <laughs> accept this. Come on, roll me a position yeah. roll. Mag uh, magic is a, is a good, acceptable life choice, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'll do it for you if you want. Wink, wink. <laughs> Come on, Hoon. I'm waiting. Oh, for me? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were going to have the, the bard persuade. No, you are the one talking. All yeah, right. I'll, I'll do it. Right. No. <laughs> yeah, that, I do it. It's it's Hoon. Hoon came up with the idea. Hoon rolls it. All right. Huh? Bah. I so, the one that initiated talking with him. Yes, but to be Hoon fair, Chucky. Put the question right. that initiated this whole thing. Yeah, I got a three. So he looks at you and says, "No, no, no, no. They're paying good gold, and I can't. It's with this gold, I can retire. I can just close it down and go with another life. So." Couple of nights of this. So this inn is this inn is for sale, is what you're saying. Uh, sorry, what you said? What? Uh, can you repeat? You said you 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 said you could close this down. So this inn is for sale. In about three days, it is. How, How much are you asking for it? For this dump, I three hundred gold is enough. I I will have enough to live my own life after this. If I had 300 gold, I'd buy this place and toss those guys out just for the pleasure of that. But that's different days. He's basically ah. saying that after he gets the gold from the guys, he can just sell it for 300, which is not a worth, not, which is not enough gold for it. And but he doesn't really care. How after long? The three days. How long does um? How long does like the caravan need to stay in the town for? To like the restock night. goods, sell goods. The night. Just overnight. Just. But it's it's cold know. and sleeting out. We want to make sure the horses and, and whatnot are. You are don't have a stable. So I take a... out this giant pouch of money. <laughs> like uh... no, yes. He has a big. He has a big sack of money, the biggest sack. I do have the biggest. Sack. The, the party I, I I have the biggest balls, even though I'm a girl. But like yeah. Uh... Wow. No, like yeah. Uh... I just uh, like. I don't know if balls is the right word, man. So. Uh -huh. So what do you do? I got the I got the biggest sack. <laughs> you, you you pull out your sack yeah. and I pull out uh, not that sack though. I pull out the the uh, like a. You a are big a sack. woman. You don't have that sack. You only have one sack, the one with the gold. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, like hmm, so much money in here. I don't know what I should do with it. I kind of look at it. I'm like, holy shit, that is a lot of money. <laughs> like, <laughs> give me an idea of how. Big this is. How much money would you oh, it's like, approximate? I mean, if, if it's like, um, it's probably I don't know. It's probably around 500 gold pieces in there. So like, 
I have no idea. I mean, I, I shouldn't. I should technically. I probably wouldn't be able to carry it even. It's so heavy. It would be like you know. I, I, his, I, I got the I got the hammer space or his something. His eyes his eyes go wide and he says, "Well, for more than they're paying, I can." I, I, Should we I, have some fun, guys? <laughs> I say we could use our. I kind of whisper, magic to do a bit more than oh, that. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm I'm I'm, not, I'm only whispering it to. And I, and and I, I just oh, okay I just uh, I put my big sack of money back into my hammer space like uh, you know uh, like hmm well. Maybe, maybe, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Like, I, I say, to, I say to the innkeeper. Yeah, uh, no, just said. He says, "Well, I, I do go inside." So, ex excuse me. And he, um, do you have any like, uh, wine, ale, anything you can sell us? A couple of kegs. A couple of kegs. She just nods and says, "Yes, yes, I do have surprise. Come on the back door, and I can give you whatever you want." All right. Okay, so uh, let's take tomorrow. a small 3-5 minutes break, because we're at a break time, and we'll come back with more for the Dragon Queen in 3-5 minutes. See you guys then. Sounds good. Bye-bye.